Hello folks, and welcome back to our nice and peaceful station, where nothing ever goes amiss at all. We have had the matron who has had a moment of exercise to herself. Very useful, I'm sure. We have a spin doctor who is uh, likely to die at any moment here. Possibly, unless our trusty valet can escort him away. Ah, so they trigger the smart strap, which in turn... Oh, the shock trap is disconnected apparently. That's interesting. Well, he triggers the shock trap immediately. I had a little thought here. What if I put a poison gas cage trap here with the uh, idea that anybody triggering this laser walks past, ends up in the gas trap, gets delayed, then starts shooting at the dummy and triggers the electroshock trap. I mean, presumably this should be a fairly solid combo when it comes to uh, killing people. Well, it's worth a try, I feel. Oh, and I had disconnected these, so this guy is making his way into the uh, control room, which is a small problem. One that I'm sure our spin doctors will be uh, very happy to uh, address. Do we have any research we can do? No, none so far. Well, it is what it is. So our next mission is to make sure that this guy is hiding, and perhaps we should acquire this thing as well. So six workers and I think one mercenary should be sufficient to offset the uh, risk of the mission. I have a small shortage of guards at the moment, and by small I mean significant, but that's what the training program is for. We will be back to normal strength before we know it. The amount of uh, construction workers on our island is currently fairly high. We are generating quite some revenue, which is uh, also a good thing. Now, I was hoping to go out clubbing some seals, but it seems as though... Uh, wait for a bit until our uh, security staff is uh, at full force. Fortunately we have quite a fair few mercenaries who are also capable of training guards. Here we have mercenary training in full swing. They need to be able to wield their heavy weapons. It's quite neat, I feel. a scientist who is also preparing to advance into the field of quantum physics. That's interesting. No, Jet Chan is still in the area, you should hide. 
the heat level in Anvil is currently fairly high, so we can expect a possible visit from the man. For the time being, I'm going to disconnect these two and just to see if the poison gas trap plan I had is going to be working. Although it seems like our global heat levels are low enough that we are not seeing a major agent presence, perhaps these ladies can, uh, can help us test out the trap. On that note, it's time to go get this totem. It's a, an adorable little bear thing, apparently snacking on a fish. I guess we should also set this crowd to be steel, you know. They can keep plotting. The money obtained is truly insufficient. Are they going to tailgate this guy in? No, it seems like they won't. Well, they can try opening this door. So they will with the huge wrench. So they run in. This one passes the laser. This one triggers it. They get stuck in the poison gas trap, they get gas, and shocked. And they are blown back to square one. Oh my, now this has become... An incredibly efficient setup when it comes to uh, causing the deaths of agents, which is uh, useful. Of course, it doesn't quite finish them off. Perhaps. It's worth testing with a Satan's chimney instead. Could be good. Should I do that? Maybe. I think I'm going to need a bigger freezer with a trap like this set up. So I think here is going to be a good area for that. but uh, worth it just to not have a bunch of body bags stinking up the place. I am relatively pleased with this setup, in all honesty. service broadcast. There is increasing evidence that the evil organization is trying to reassemble an infamous Red Indian totem pole. After the totem pole was looted by colonial ethnographers and carved up into four sections, a curse was placed on it by the tribal elder. Legend has it that if the pieces are reunited, the curse will be lifted. This mercenary can go on to steal some uh, funds from Europe. Now, that's a 
high amount of money for a humble mercenary. Perhaps we should send out a bit of a bigger crowd. Also, maybe the dummy trap could be moved here. And I could install some Satan's chimney traps here. Oh my word, they put that there? That's insane. They, they can't... It must be in the freezer, or somewhere where it won't bother anyone. Like the power plant. This thing is cursed after all. Hide. Also hide. This area. Well, they're way behind us. This trap was, uh, or sorry, this sensor was removed. Intruder type psychological weakening. Oh my, what is she doing there? It's just plain nicking my money. Christ Almighty. out fine. for the moment. And I'm thinking, if I move these ones forward by one tile, and then I place the Satan's Chimneys traps here, it would mean that the they would get anybody trying to leave the base. Chen. 
Should I set this up now? Right, so if I just disconnect everything for a moment, just give the order to uh, sort out any individual coming into the base. Who is actually matron? For a shame, matron, please take care of these gentlemen. They have been doing some tremendously naughty activities. <laughs> going to have this chap taken into the base for further processing. We'll set up a couple of Satan's chimneys, like so, and those should both trigger the smart trap. This one should trigger these marts and the electroshock trap. Actually, I think the smarts trap can actually go back to triggering the electroshock trap. This one should trigger that. But I think that's a good uh, level of. Uh, how should I say? Dreadful lethal setup, but I only mean that in the best of ways. In fact, I think if anybody makes it past these traps, they get flung back and into the Satan's chimney, which should be sufficient to uh, kill them for, for good. something we can do with the multimedia educational zone too, that's interesting. On that note, we should go out and club some seals, just for the sake of it. So we send in the six guards already have sufficient mercenaries in the world to, uh, to deal with that mission. Also, I'm sure that will be sufficiently horrifying to uh, all related parties. Now, oh, Colonel Blackheart, I'm sure you have this well in hand. Kill him. Fantastic, right you are. Well done. He's not feeling too good, but I'm sure he'll find some way to recuperate. Nice, he just relaxes for a bit with his monkey friend. setup is going to work. Uh, 
Oh, that is strange. I thought they would trigger those pressure pads when they get flung past, but I suppose maybe not. I'm starting to think that this security camera should be disconnected from the uh, security network because in all honesty I think it's doing a lot more harm than good by attracting a significant quantity of minions into the uh, into the area. Search it with one item to obtain something, so I pay a cash incentive, which will eliminate the false opportunities and show me what I should actually research with. Now, when we get more research tools, it won't be as efficient, but it will be uh, beneficial, especially when we have as significant an income as we do now. These mercenaries can go to the west coast, and gentlemen, I wish to see some well and truly horrid levels of violence from you. Sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. Why are these not getting triggered? Nobody seems to trigger them when they walk past. Okay, let's see what happens now then. You get blown past. Do I really need to set the... Oh, now you trigger it. Pacific Radio. This is Pacific FM, and I'm Larry Driscoll, keeping you up to date with regional events from California all the way up to Alaska. Oh, so wonderful. New henchmen are available to join our course. No one knows who's responsible yet, but everyone's got a theory. Isn't that right, Bill? <laughs> yeah, even the penguins in Alaska got a theory, Larry. Penguins are from the South Pole, Bill. Damn it, Larry. Why do you always show me up on air? Well, I guess Larry's just impolite like that. We have some new henchmen available to join our course as well. We have Eli Barracuda, the notorious kingpin of the New York underworld. This is a very, very good minion for shooting up stuff. And we have Lord Kane. Now, I would actually quite like to get Lord Kane for the base, because he is very useful when it comes to crowd control and bio tanks. No question about it. Then let's uh, let's build ourselves some bio tanks. New home build order confirmed. Road construction unpaused. I think here, just behind the research machine, is a good good spot to put this machine. That's very neat, I believe. We will have uh, a minion on the way to get uh, Lord Kane. Of course, Jet Chan is um, standing around and is hoping, hoping to be able to thwart our plan. It won't work. 
but he will try. Now this has kind of failed because I was expecting the wind trap to make them trigger these. Seems like that's not what happens though. So perhaps I should take these out and make the laser trigger them instead. New objects are available for Nerve gas cage trap. That is quite useful. Although, let's see if I disconnect those. Let's see if I can get the get the laser to trigger them. Uh, yes, I can. Okay. Then we. Oh my. Right. This is going to be an expensive affair. I feel. Or Patriot, a veteran even. Alright, battle stations everyone. definition open fighting. That's marvelous. I guess we should have been a little bit more careful about how much heat we would attract in, in the process of Very bad. Jet Chan took out Lord Blackheart. This means that Lord Blackheart now has. Um, and he didn't even take any damage. Christ, super agents really are the worst. Dreadfully frightening experience, lady. Just calm down. And Jack Chan, meanwhile, is just running around killing everything he can get his filthy hands on.
must admit I am supremely unhappy about that turn of events. Well, we will do as the old saying goes. We will fall back and use this moment to uh, lick our wounds as the saying goes. Absolutely not. I live to serve. This assault on our base was not good, and uh, I apologize for the silence there. It was uh, getting rather quite involved, I feel. Especially now that uh, Jet Chan is uh, going to cause a bit of a problem for us. He's attacking. This is unfortunate, given how incredibly costly this entire operation was for us. And on some level, I suppose it could be said that we deserve it for the whole seal clubbing business. But we have chosen this line of work and these things. Sometimes they are just what's expected of us. some minions out into the world to plot new misdeeds, however. We can't just uh, give up on that because we got ourselves a few licks in this crap, as it were. So we are going to send out a large portion of the science team. Yes. Super Agent Task Force, in case anything 
goes amiss. Yeah. Due to her, thanks to her ever increasing notoriety, Katerina Frostonova from Hammer has been sent to intervene in our plans. That is definitely not good. Order confirmed. Awaiting interrogation device selection. We are going to have to have Jet Chan interrogated in our laboratory, and we will hope that uh, nothing comes in the way of this interrogation. And here she is the Hammer Super Agent. An or a thoroughly unpleasant lady. Object move order confirmed. I am going to move these ones here, and I'm going to move pressure pads over here so that they can be triggered in a more controlled fashion. few accidents are, as always, rather quite expected. There we go, we have our top men, top planners out into the world, plotting, trying to find us new things we can do. So that is here. I suppose this one is fairly useless at this point, so we can just uh, move that as well. Now, the laser triggers the electroshock trap. Laser also triggers the target dummy. It becomes a bit of a hassle this because we have to do a little bit of a switcheroo, but uh, I believe it will all work out in the end. Now, how is the interrogation proceeding? Brilliantly so far. Very good. ones will trigger the Satan's chimneys and also the smart strap. Okay, I think that will give us a little bit of a more granular setup. And what's this then? have a crowd of anvil soldiers. I can't say I'm a fan of that. Juve and Colonel Blackheart standing around having a talk. they get there, I think. I think you two should return like to base for now. Haven't really discovered any new acts of infamy. Now, how do these people choose to approach the, the door trap? isn't it? Oh yes, because now they're straight up shooting the pressure pad. 
is going to detonate and it expensive equipment got broken, fortunately. Colonel Black got leveled up. And our entire plotting force has been distressingly massacred. Not, uh, not tremendous, I don't think. We are faced with a fair number of issues at the moment. Jet John can go back into his cell. We will have him dunked in the biovat later. <laughs> See, I thought that guy was dead, and as it turns out, I'm right. At least now. And Lord Kane can learn psychic terror, but he will need to kill someone. They will, of course, die. Because he's attempting to leave. Which means that, uh, in practice, we can't kill him. also hope that you had a good time, that you're having a good day today, and uh, I just end up saying, well, thanks for watching, I hope you had a pleasant time, and do take care. Goodbye.